Hello and welcome to Dimsy's Domain and we're going to be talking about a Digimon video. i got Shady of Lightning with me, he doesn't know the topic. So you lot know you have a head start about the topic and the thumbnail. So I'm going to ask him right now. The next movie, Digimon Adventure Try Soshitsu, who should get more screen time, Kari or Mako? So let me just open the floor, Shady of Lightning. What's going on guys, this is Shady of Lightning, back. back. <laughs> yeah, um... Personally, for me, I think Kari should be the one getting the more screen time. We've seen throughout the movies that there's little hints of Kari's character development with, you know, Kari helping out Joe in the second movie and, you know, um, Yggdrasil. 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 But, know, but then what about her being uh, possessed by homeostasis? That's what I was about to mm. say. Her being possessed with homeostasis. I want to see a big payoff with Kari. But the thing is, you know, when you were to invest, by the way, guys, um, our views may not reflect our complete personal views. Well, here's my. I'm going to try and justify on both sides. So try to make it as fair as possible. Do comment down below. Who do you want to have more screen time in this movie, which is about Mako and Kari? Kari or Mako? And I know Mako may not be the most popular character. So comment your thoughts about Mako down below. And please tell us why you think the way you do about both Kari and both about Mako. But I think that with Mako, because this is her debut series in Digimon Adventure Trial, we've known Kari for the past two seasons for 01 and 02. But in season two, she didn't really have that much of a big role. She was just part of a team. But she was still there, even though she was part of a team. My main point about this, regardless of what she, her impact was in that team in the 02 cast, is that Mako's debut series was Digimon Adventure Trial. Therefore, in order for the audience to kind of relate and to feel invested in her, somewhat investment mm. in her, should she not therefore, by default, have a little bit more screen time? But every time we see her on screen, she's always crying. She's she, not. She's, she's not. She's a crybaby. What's What's the point? Uh, don't vilify for. Don't vilify her for being a crybaby. Well, you can. You can, but. It's her character. She has a lot of sadness. We, there's so much more mystery to her. But she's not offering anything. She's not offering to help out the Digidestin in any way. When Ty was crying over when, you know, Agumon was kidnapped by Ken. Yeah. He was suggesting ideas on which where to go or which train line to take to go to the mountain to search for Metal Greymon. But recall the fact that in the last few scenes of the, of the previous movie, Mako, after having a nervous breakdown, after having her... Uh, her little scene of indecisiveness yeah. she then decided you know what I'm going to go to the digital world you know what I'm going to go there but she went and they were all already gone they left her behind but if she that, why do you think they left her behind because she has nothing to offer but that's why it's perfect for a Mako sense due to the fact that she's showing character development from being an indecisive mm. crybaby to then taking the initiative and saying, you know what, no, I need to go to the digital world Mekuman needs me I need to help my partner so with that, I think that... That justifies her having more screen time than Kari. Somewhat, somewhat. Um, you talk about Crybaby and we talk about frustration about the audience towards the characters. But then what about the frustration towards Ty? <laughs> Ty has been a bit of a, bit of a yeah. blithering idiot, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, he's been wasted. He's been wasted. Do you know what? I think this is all is... I think this is it's all down to the shipping and everyone in Digimon... You know, whoever's a Digimon fan, they all go for the shippings. And I think this is just le is leading to Ty's character development to finally return, you know, to his prominence as being a leader. That's not character development. That's actually character regression. And then yeah, it is, it is. pulling him back to its original state. To, to then comfort Yeah, and th Mako. that's a pseudo, pseudo form of character development. That's absolute bullshit, in all honesty. Yeah. And that's very lazy writing. It is, but it is. let's focus on Mako and Kari. With Mako... There's still so much left that we need to know. What about Mako's father? What about Mako's actual childhood when she was growing up? They did somewhat allude to it and they did somewhat to like give Like he's a hints. very distant father. Apparently he's never home. You know, but, he doesn't really like her child and, and stuff. But the history of Mako and Meikuman, although it's been, they've given us hints of it, there's still so much more left to tell us. Whereas if you look at Kari and Gatoman, mm. you, you have been telling me so many times about the the beauty about how Kari and Gatoman became partners and how it works so well. Yeah. It's been told to us perfectly in the first season. Yeah. Therefore, the amount of stuff for Kari isn't as much or as justified as that of Mako. But isn't 
But the whole Mako and Makoman thing, that's just another rehash of the Kari thing. They're just doing that again. It's lazy writing. It's heck, repeating it. Heck, look at Makoman and look at uh, Gatoman. Look at the similarities. They're both champion level Digimon. And look at the size. They're both felines. Mm. I think that it is lazy on their part. They thought they could do a Kari 2.0, but who's older. But the thing that Kari had for her in the first season was time. The mm. thing that Kari had going for her was she wasn't the loner. She had TK with her. Mm. They were both the little kids. They were the two kids among the and, bigger... And she had... And the help that she has the Crest of Light, which exactly. helps her out in big, big ways. Why is the Crest of Light so important? And I think that's one of the things which could justify why she should get more screen time in this movie. Why... Do we know anything about the Crest of Light? Apparently, the Crest of Light and the Crest of Hope were the ones that unsealed the... What's it called? The Dark Masters? Not the Dark Masters. Um... The four do- the four sovereigns, the yeah. four Digimon sovereigns, they were the ones that freed um, Azulongmon. Why? Which is, Azulongmon alluded to in the in the in season two? Why is Kari so important? Why is she the one who's always getting possessed? I'm gonna do a video on that. Um, why? In my opinion, I think Kari is the most important Digidestin, and I'm gonna lay out, even including all the Digimon movies, on why she has such a big role and why she is the most important Digidestin. And that's why it frustrates me that Makoman is getting all this screen time. But okay, in the in the poster we've seen Kari with Ofaniman fall down mode, as well as Makoman, not Makoman, so Mako with. And forgive me, guys, because I, I don't know the ultimate form for Makuman. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, let's just say <laughs> Makuman and her digital partner, yeah. who is in her ultimate form. They're both the the cover cover girls for the poster itself. So obviously, they're going to focus on, the, on that pair. What part of that pair is more justified and why? Final thoughts. What, what final th- what? So, Kari, Kari or Mako and why? Kari over Mako any day. Kari... Well, first of all, they're in File Island, and I think the the re- why is Ofaniman fall down fall down mode there? Mm. You know, she th- something drastic must have happened to Kari. Either she got possessed again, or she just has a mental breakdown and you know just loses it, and that's why Gatoman turned in, in, evil evil mega digivolved into Ofaniman fall down mode. You know, with Kari, the thing about Kari is that she's always had this childlike innocence, this pure light to her yeah what could possibly corrupt her light the disease the digimon disease maybe because digimon can act well we don't know for sure but because she has been possessed well who's to say that she hasn't been got, she hasn't gotten that disease why if gatoman actually gets the even though there's been a re- reboot but we know that there's more to the reboot than has the misty, inici- yeah, yeah. initially yeah initially been stated why if gatoman gets infected by the what, disease. What if Kari is the one infected? Because we've seen Kari getting possessed. Yeah. So Kari being, you know, infected instead of Gatuman would be a really good twist. I have a question I would for you. That, actually. Do you think that Kari is even human, or is she some sort of digital no, human? No, she she is a human, but she's special. She's she's portrayed as the human Jesus of Digimon. Okay. Like legitly, she is portrayed like that. So. I'm telling you, something's going to happen with Kari. That's why Kari deserves the screen time, not Mako. Okay, the reason why I think Mako deserves the screen time, as I stated earlier, is that there's still so many loose ends to her character, to her backstory, to her history, to her relationships with her father, with her digital partner, that we still have no clue about. Which, and which we see in the trailer as a man in, you know, in shadow. Which we can allude to, to him re- being the father. Yeah, which we can allude to. I think that there's so many things that are left uh, which are unraveled that needs to be tied up mm. but if we were to give a conclusion I think that Kari should have the mental breakdown mental breakdown and the person to comfort her should be Mako Ugh, it doesn't really help with Agumon being the one comforting Mako but okay I, I see your point I see your point but personally I would have preferred Agumon. TK TK comforting Kari Agumon, you know? <laughs> Agumon comforting Mako was it was it's um, a foreshadowing for Tai to eventually comf- you know comfort Mako and you know the Tai Mako shippings will begin from there <sighs> that, I know I hate that I hate that shipping is such yeah, a bother it's bullshit, know, it's bullshit. but um, it is what it is but regarding the whole regarding the whole Mako and Kari I think that these two they also need to perform really well this movie has a lot going on for it the mm. last movie wasn't the best no, it wasn't. It wasn't. It really it. wasn't the best. Movie 3 was really good. I really enjoyed yeah. it. And once again, Movie 4 was a downgrade. This fifth movie, this fifth chapter needs to be... Kari and Mako need to blow it out of the water. We need to see the O2 kids. Yes. And that's that's another reason why I think Mako shouldn't be getting any screen time. What happened to the O2 season kids? 
Where are they? Meku stealing all of their spotlight. And and with that being said, I think that we should end it right here. What did you guys think about this digital podcast? This little podcast format where me and please Shady... please don't get angry, Mako fans. Sorry about She's that. She's cool. Wait, hey, I, I, I'm backing up. Please don't get angry, Kari fans, for me <laughs> blasting her. Uh, but what do you guys think of this digital podcast? Um, it's still in its unofficial pilot stage. So if you do like it, please comment down below and you see way more of these podcasts in the future. Once again, as Shady alluded to, there's many, many f- videos to come in the yeah. future. They will be coming out. Don't worry. And I'm going to ask you one quick question to the fans. Myotisman question mark. Care for nothing.